These are signs when a narcissist loses helplessly in a power struggle against you. When a narcissist loses control over another individual, the consequences can be severe for both parties involved. Narcissists are known for their emotional weakness and their tendency to hurt others intentionally. They may use their charm and manipulation tactics to gain control over others and feed their own sense of superiority and self-importance. The individual who was under the control of the narcissist may feel a sense of relief and freedom once they have broken free from the narcissist's manipulation. However, they may also experience feelings of guilt, shame and self-doubt as they question their own ability to recognize and resist the narcissist's tactics. They may also experience feelings of grief as they may have lost a significant relationship or have been emotionally hurt. On the other hand, the narcissist may experience feelings of anger, frustration and resentment when they lose control over another individual. They may feel that their sense of self-importance has been challenged and may lash out in anger. They may also experience feelings of emptiness as they have lost a source of narcissistic supply. For their own fragile egos and feeling of self-importance, narcissists must maintain a position of dominance over others. Despite their brash demeanor, they are actually quite insecure. Narcissists employ various strategies to manipulate and control others, such as gaslighting, guilt and shame. Understanding these destructive patterns and how they affect their victims can help individuals feel safer in their relationships with narcissists. However, if this understanding is not attained, feelings of confusion, rage, shame and isolation may persist. Narcissists can exert varying degrees of power and influence over others through tactics such as criticism, uncertainty and physical separation. It can be intriguing to observe how individuals cope with such situations. It is important to plan in advance how to respond to a narcissist's manipulation tactics. Narcissists have an obsessive need to feel powerful in the eyes of a wide audience. They will go to great lengths to maintain this power and control and often resort to manipulation rather than violence. They may make efforts to gain support, but they do so in the wrong way. Narcissists are not truly interested in their own happiness. They only care about the happiness of those around them. The level of concern you have for them is important to them, as it gives them a greater ability to control your feelings. If you are in contact with a narcissist, keep in mind that they have the power to manipulate your emotions and can choose when and with whom they choose to do so. That is, they aren't just interested in controlling you as an individual. They also want to influence how you interact with others and how you react to them. They like the upheaval because they are the ones who pull the strings and plant the seeds of discord. Therefore, a narcissist will become increasingly worried, annoyed and angry the longer it takes for you to reconnect with them after they have emotionally withdrawn. If the narcissist were depending on you and you suddenly disappeared, it would have a devastating effect on them. Check out the clip if you want to learn more about the importance of narcissistic supply to a narcissist. The larger the supply, the more likely it is that some of it will be wasted. If a narcissist is no longer able to manipulate their victim, it is an indication that the victim has reclaimed power. They've made a choice to alter how they engage with the narcissist or to completely cut connections with them. These revelations infuriate narcissists, understandably so. Narcissists have a hard time understanding why someone would choose to cut connections with them because they believe they should be in control. If the narcissists lose any control over their supply, they will feel threatened. This affords them flexibility in responding to emergency. Narcissists' typical retort is to talk up their many accomplishments or share some secret benefits they've been testing. Narcissists' great need to be regularly confirmed and not feel irrelevant can make them appear to have quickly moved on. On the other hand, the narcissist will utilize it as protection. They are making an effort to avoid introspection about what went wrong or how they could have handled the rejection better. A narcissist who has lost control over another individual may look for it in a new romantic partner. The narcissist might give it another go if they think they can win you over this time. As a last resort, they might behave unduly subservient and humble around you or shower you with excessive displays of effusive adoration. Someone trying to get you to change your mind about breaking up with them 
could also try to play the victim card. Why? Simply put, they want you to forgive them and give them another chance to win your love and respect. The narcissist will make an effort to win you back, only to cast you aside once more. Put another way, they are driven solely by self-interest. When pushed too far, narcissists seek vengeance. While this is something that every narcissist wants, some will value it more than others. Narcissists have an unhealthy preoccupation with you because they feel they may gain something from you. Anything from providing material aid to emotional or physical attention qualifies. If they can't control you, they don't want anyone else to want you. Because of this, they put in tremendous effort to stir up rebellion among your supporter base. When they retaliate, it's usually by smearing one's name in the dirt. However, narcissists can utilize their monkeys in the sky to spread rumors about you that will cause people to distrust what you say. They'll use the victim card once more, except this time to paint you as the one who has no sense of empathy, is only concerned with themselves, and is completely off your rocker. Forgetting about them or treating them differently is something they hope will make you feel bad, so they can manipulate your emotions. As a kind of punishment, many narcissists will turn to harm you in the ways they know would give you the most emotional misery. Therefore, the smear campaign of a narcissist is as devastating as any punishment you can imagine. If a narcissist is unable to get what they want from another person, they may reach rock bottom. They believe that all possible has been done on their part to obtain a more narcissistic supply, and that what they have now is the best and most narcissistic supply available. However, they will have to face the unpleasant reality that they will never be able to fully control you. They eventually give in to their vices and let their anguish to dominate over them, becoming the tragic personification of all they had been attempting to conceal. For this reason, some narcissists may have a strong desire to end their own lives. Isolation from all human contact may be the final recourse for narcissists. The loss of power over another person can have a profound effect on a narcissist. As a result, they will do whatever it takes to get it back. It's unfortunate that some folks just can't get better. Eliminating narcissists who place an abnormally high value on authority and control is essential to restoring our well-being. In addition, I hope to get feedback from you on this because I'm sure every one of you has your own perspective to offer. What was the narcissist like towards you after they realized they were no longer in control? Is it possible they've switched to a new supply? Have they reached a pathological level in their desire for revenge? You could tell that things had reached a low point for them. Use the comment section to share your thoughts. Anxiety, irritation and anger are common responses for a narcissist who has lost control over another person. They may employ gaslighting, guilt, or shame in an effort to control or intimidate the target. They may also attempt to influence the target's social interactions and how they react to others. In the event that the other person decides to cut relations with the narcissist, the narcissist may feel intimidated and try to gloat about their achievements or reveal new advantages in an effort to reclaim control of the situation. The best way to avoid falling under a narcissist's influence is to recognize the warning signs of manipulation by someone with a strong narcissistic personality and to take preventative measures. Sorry, but that's all I can say for the time being. Like and share this video if you found it useful. It means a lot to us. Always being mindful of how much time you're giving me is something I value greatly. You have my deepest gratitude for all your support.